Hi there guys. Yeah, really nice weather today. It's almost winter but uh, it's a little over uh, 2.30 uh, p.m. now. It's really warm, slight breeze. It uh, really looks like uh, spring instead of almost uh, winter time. So today I brought my two models, two of them. <laughs> I brought the ASW and the Tundra so I could take advantage as I have uh, maybe two hours and a half uh, to fly still till the end of the afternoon till the sun sets so I brought some extra batteries and I brought two models so I can spend here my entire afternoon and taking advantage of this nice weather I just wanted to, uh, to talk you uh, talk to you about some little mods I've done meanwhile here on my ASW glider, some small mods, but uh, I will see today how they perform. First of all, I'm not sure if I can show you here, but I have added a, li a little bit of dihedral to the ASW. So I bent a little bit the two spars uh, at middle, of course, so I can have a little dihedral. I'm, I'm I can't tell you how many degrees because I haven't measured, but uh, by eye it seems uh, quite accurate looking at the at the full scale uh, glider. Of course, it will bend the the wings a little bit uh, further up once uh, it's airborne because of the the pressures. But I think it will be more stable this way, especially flying uh, on windy conditions. I will probably lose a little bit of aileron authority and he is a little bit lazy and it will probably get a little more lazy on the aileron controls but let's see how it goes I also mo uh, modified further the the wing tips, the winglets here let's see if I can show you I have uh, built this um, plastic, it's a sort of plastic, uh, a mixture between plastic and foam, I'm not sure what material is this, uh, but uh, I glue it with epoxy at the wing tip. I have to cut the wing tip a tiny tiny bit so I can have a flush uh, face, so I could glue it to the wing tip and I have inserted, let me see if I can take this one out quickly so I can show you. There we go. See, I have glued two plastic uh, sleeves with the hole and the two bamboo mid skewers enter just nice and tight on these two sleeves. The friction is enough to keep it steady and it won't fly off during the flight. About the third modification, this this third one is more uh, on the painting side. <laughs> let me see. Let me just take <coughs> take the radio out of my neck quickly, so it won't interfere. There we go. Just so I can show you here what I've done. put it like this slowly and yeah I was a bit tired of the usual black stripes so I made this uh, diagonal red stripes to combine with the with the decals because it's red and the tail is also red it's sort of a old school homage to the old gliders that have this painting scheme I really I really enjoy it and I'm sure it will be nice and visible once airborne okay so here are the mods and now it's time to fly and see especially how it behaves with the added dihedral let's hope it all goes well I think so it has to be more stable because the original model as the spars are straight the wing has
has uh, zero dihedral. Sometimes it seems that it has negative because the wings fall down a little bit when the model is stationary. But when, once it's airborne, the wings fill up, let's put it that way, and the dihedral uh, gets a little more dihedral, even with the original. But now it has a little bit more. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we we'll just do a quick free flight check. Up and down. Okay. I also had a, a little mix on the <coughs> sorry on the elevator. I have a little bit down flap when I pull elevator up. Not sure if you can see. Just a tiny bit and up flap or reflex for speed diving or when you need to go on speed. And I also have this this uh, uh, tiny bit of uh, flap, the spoiler, once I go full throttle. On the last uh, 15, maybe 15 to, to 100, uh, on the last 85% uh, up to 100, I have this built-in up spoiler so I can gain a little more speed when, when needed. Also a nice little touch. Okay, let me put here my first flap position, the so-called thermal mode. Let's see if there's any thermals around there today. And let's go. Okay, engine on. The wind is weak, but it's coming from east, strangely. Not the usual direction. Okay. Out of the flat. Let me get a few seconds of initial impression. There's no wind today, but sure feels stable. It sure feels stable. Still out of the motor. First position flap. Okay, into the motor now. Out of the flaps. 